If you leave Con now, you take away the biggest part of Con. Ooh, no, baby, please. I'll let you win us. Don't go. <laughs> That's where it went. Yeah. What the fuck is that? Hey, Brian. What is that? Wow. Oh, you can set it on different things. Hello, Brian. It doesn't really work, does it? Hello, Brian. It's the aliens. Aliens, but aliens call themselves aliens. So we had, uh, I was listening to a podcast on the way down here. Were you? And uh, you can drop it now. Tell me more. <laughs> He's such a cunt, doesn't he? Uh, it's gone now. And uh, it turns podcast. out that's not a sheet, which makes it look like his bigger room. It's actually a bigger room. Yeah. Yeah. Another Joe Rogan had on the Blink One Eighty Two guy, yeah, Latonjo or Talon or whatever the fuck his name is. Solange. He's the one who uh, say it ain't so. And um, um, why? Um, I miss you. Na, 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 Do you always na, 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 question him and he was like I can't really talk about that and he must have said that about 10 times that means you don't have a fucking clue doesn't it Let's I can't really talk about that um, but do you yeah, believe do, uh, fair play or wrong gets good guests on us nobody we don't need a guest no but it's annoying like not, not being funny I've got to have a little word here with the audience you know in the first sort of six months to a year you lot Digging in deep, sending us loads of guest suggestions. Now it's just like wow. Anthony Joshua. I'm not being funny. As much as I, I think one day maybe, it's not as easy as just giving the heavyweight champ of the world to call me like, all right, well, this will be out after his next fight. Let's hope he's he's still a heavyweight right, champ. All right, you smash the guy out in two seconds because um, he will. But the point is, it's very hard to get people who are constantly massive names. I need you a lot to help me. We need some small, what, what Brian's saying is, we need some small kooky people to fill in the gaps. No, but we have Conspiracy really some- theorists. Yeah. Uh, dr- drug dealers, um, <laughs> drug takers, drug takers. Both, but bring them, bring them together. Ex bankers, mm. uh, successful high end musicians. Yeah. Um, touring artists. The point is, I need your fucking help, right? Ex taxi drivers who think they've tick- got political I've, I've views. I've got me blue tick now on Twitter, and I still haven't managed to use it for any one of them. success. Yeah. So just tell me some good people to go after, and ideally. This is key. Cat Dealey. Not, not her. Right. Not her. They have to be in London or be able to get to London for the day. So Well, that's not ideal. That's, bear that's, that in mind. That's a prerequisite to being on the podcast. You have to be in you London. You have to be in London on the day. Yeah. And you have to be able to make it to the... Unless London. you want to fly us somewhere beautiful, which yeah, we're I mean, more than happy yeah. to. If you want to fly us to LA or whatever, yeah. that's fine. Good but to see you. Help us out. Do, do, Free do, do, content do, 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 do. all the time. Yeah. Right, like the video and subscribe as well while I'm anyway, at it. Anyway, that us. advert's over. Thanks, Harry. And then the, that advert's over. Um, so the moon landings happened, right? What? The moon landings happened. Do you believe the moon landings didn't happen? Just speaking about conspiracy theorists. All right. So, uh, if, are we going to do the? Is this the conspiracy? No, no, it's not the. No, but I just want to do the moon landings. <clears throat> a sort of a little a preview. All right. Um, in my Late opinion. Night. Come home. In my opinion. Moon sucks. <laughs> I know. That was actually a song about a NASA scientist. That, that guy is literally trying to say. Call. That is actually a song about a NASA scientist. Say it ain't so, I will not go. Turn the lights on, the fake lights, which they thought were the sun, carry me home. Home being probably Houston, Texas. Song about a conspiracy theory. Um, hashtag respect the conspiracy theorists. Yeah. Hashtag. Respect the bed. Did we go to the moon? Is that how we're starting this We off? haven't been, but yes. No, we haven't been, and nor has anybody else. People have been. Since the last time they went right. in the 70s, wasn't 60s? it? 60s? Yeah. They started, though. Started in the 60s, went in the 70s. Someone but then said- since then, they were like... Well, that's enough of that exploring. What else would you do? Why would Eh? you go to the moon Eh? again? Why go back? Why go back when the technology's improved and we can probably learn a lot more about the moon? It's just a big hassle. But we know all about the moon. We know it's made of cheese. We know that the people there are sort of scared of us. Uh, So we don't need to go back. In all seriousness, I don't have a fucking clue whether or not we went to the moon at all. 
And I, I don't think anyone idea. else does. But what I do know is there is footage out there of a man stepping foot on a surface saying, that's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Yeah, why would you uh, say that if that he wasn't could on the be moon? Anyway, to be honest with you. Could be anyway. The photographs, the videos, could be anyway. I watched a video, no idea. I watched a video the other day which said it would have been very difficult back then to recreate the conditions of the moon because of all of the lighting you would have, you would need it exactly like a massive panel of lighting oh, right. to so, match so it would the be sun. very difficult to recreate the conditions of the moon on a on a movie set but getting to the actual moon and getting up there using a rocket and all of that no problem it's not no problem but some people are just saying well, it's it wasn't almost, a problem they got there yeah some people are just saying it probably would have been cheaper easier and more efficient to actually go <laughs> to the moon than to stand around going wait how can we no, make I, this look like the moon I mean uh, obviously if I, if I was sat here with uh, the documents mm-hmm. as Alex Jones says mm-hmm. we have the documents Alex Jones is a, is a null and void um, he's null no. and void I was just saying if we had the documents it right. might make life a lot easier but you're asking it's off the top of my head now to either say Yes, whether or not so. the footage which That's we don't com- have or the works. photographs was was real or faked but you've I'd, read it a lot I'd, well there's there's some there's some things which do raise an eyebrow and you go that's a red flag like what 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 <clears throat> What? The flag, for one thing. What, how, uh, the why? red and white and blue flag that why? was flapping as if wind was on the moon. Now, I know that you've got a million debunkers out there, but just generally speaking, I am not a scientist. This is from just a common sense man's point of view. If space is a vacuum, then why is the flag flapping? And why are there so many different light sources in these photographs? I don't get it. Are there a lot of light sources? In so on, on the moon, there's only one light source. The sun. Well, yeah. Why, when a man takes a photograph Flash. and the sun is behind the man and it's in a straight line, the man should then be a silhouette because the sun is behind him. Because it's pretty he, bright. He isn't. He isn't a silhouette. He is reflected and lit up perfectly. And interestingly, um, there's just a lot of uh, astronauts who've come out with very conflicting stories. So we didn't, one said up when they were up there, we didn't see any stars. And then when he was interviewed, when he got up, he was like, oh, we noticed all the stars looked amazing. And there's just, a lot of um, dodgy stories and that and, and, and also when they're being collared these guys and I know this doesn't mean anything but I just find it an interesting Buzz, it, it's Buzz a, Aldrin just punches them doesn't he I think, no, I think it's a very interesting story generally because the moon landing was the biggest success in our history as a, as a species um, uh, it, no not really well, it's one of many good successes but, but getting that far outside of uh, our atmosphere and that we, it was amazing do you know what I mean crazy um, and yet it might have all been bullshit and I just find that interesting none of them have be, they've all been approached with Bibles swear down on the stack of Bible that you did this so none of them will do that they're all like no 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 no, no. All of the, you, you, can, you can YouTube search this you know what you need to find you know what I mean some atheist ask, ask the one that really um, got me was a little documentary called A Funny Thing Happened on the Way to the Moon where it, at one point um, where they are said to be very close to the moon. Right. Um, Stop and the moon like that. The moon. They're having a bit, a bit of a, well, they're having a recording session yeah. and they say that they've got like a lens. Got or, guitar. They've got a lens over the, the window on the spacecraft and they take that lens away and you say that the earth is a lot closer. Oh. It's a bit like, you know, when you have a magnifying glass and you spin the other way around and it makes it look further away. They've done that. And uh, and you're just asking yourself, why would you want the, the earth to appear further away than what it was if you aren't trying to act like you're closer to the moon than you actually are? So maybe you can see everything because the lens makes it so you I, can see more. I mean, maybe they're looking for a great view. Who knows? But the point is, is at that time when they recorded that, I think, and I'm literally Literally going off of memory from years and years ago of watching this, uh, they were supposed to be a lot closer to the moon. And one of the main things that a lot of scientists debate is the Van Allen radiation belt as well. Yeah, but a lot of people talk about the radiation. And and, and could we, as humans, go pass through that without frying? Uh, yeah. You know, and I, I just haven't got a fucking clue. But the fact that all of the moon landings happened under Richard Nixon's presidency and what a shady motherfucker he was and the fact that um, Russia had actually had a lot more success than America um, in terms of building spacecrafts and all that and then all of a sudden one day boom America have done it you know know what I mean what's unusual though is Russia never uh, never went either but no but they never claimed that the Americans didn't land on the moon weirdly well, they have done since. I think Putin has come out and said some things oh, since Putin then. Putin said yeah. some stuff. Okay. Um, but what, what, what I think is interesting is just the fact that 
nobody other than America during the Richard Nixon presidency has gone up there. Like, who, who else is going? India. Well, to be fair, India. Uh, the reason I say India is not to mock them, but because they have built their own um, and, spacecraft. Yeah, allegedly. I'm, I mean, at the end of the day, Korea. Uh, no. If I went to India, I, I could have a few curries. Probably fought me way to the moon. Right. Because okay. that's you what, probably would. Uh, although you probably yeah, diarrhea your way it's, to the moon. It's just in in, in human history. We make the radio, we make the TV, we make, we make the spacecraft, we make the internet, uh, yeah. iPhones. Yeah. Everything is constantly growing, getting yeah. better and better and better. Apart from one thing, what space travel. Why? We went to the moon, and and we've never been any further with a human on board a spacecraft yet. And and, and when you look at that, when you look at the the footage, it just looks so like rinky dink. To be honest, it looks like I me mean, and you could knock it together. What, the footage? Well, now, yeah, but do, do you think part of the problem is we're looking back now and we're going, well, we've got HD cameras. We've got, yeah. Back then, it's sort of more like, well, you've just got a little... No, I, I actually, if, if anything, now, when I look back at it and I'm questioning it, I yeah. think to myself how hard it is just for people to get a signal with the technology we've got now, which I think everyone agrees is better than in the 70s, from a footman on board an aeroplane, and yet they were broadcasting live from the moon, and it, 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 it amazes us. Do you know what I mean? I mean, to be fair, what you've got, nowadays is probably very different to what you had back then they'd be able to very a lot better now you would expect yeah but maybe also on on uh if not many people are broadcasting from the moon so i imagine it is maybe it's probably easier to get that there was another thing that was quite strange is when they sped up a lot of the footage with the astronauts bouncing um across the the surface It, it did look a little bit like there was like um like it was just like slowed down on zip lines and shit like that. Like it didn't look, it just looked weird. Do you know what I mean? It looked like they were, they just, the footage had been sort of slowed down and stuff. Do you think? I mean, it's just the way it appeared. Literally, once again, no fucking clue, but the footage does look a bit dodgy. Yeah, it's sort, it's sort of a problem, isn't it? Because it's the same as when people talk about like 9-11 conspiracies and yeah. stuff. They They highlight like the plane and things like that. Let's draw an outline around the plane and... And you're uh, like, well, yeah, but you're no, but literally for, a man with Photoshop. Mm. But for me, though, like, like I said before, everything is evolving, and yet we just literally went to the moon for a few years, and then nothing ever grew from that. Like, you would have thought we'd have went, oh, all right, well, we've done that. Now we'll right, move on, Mars. and we'll go further and yeah. further, and, and space travel will grow and grow. It never grew, and and but that's partly it's strange. I think that's partly economic, wasn't it? They've spent a fuck ton on on NASA. I mean, the the actual the numbers they spend on NASA, in my opinion, are an absolute disgrace. And it, and what interests me is one 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 thing that conspiracy theorists have said, which I am inclined to think that there might be truth in, is imagine the amount of money you can. Oh, that we're using that on NASA. Do you know what I mean? where it goes? Who fucking imagine knows? It. Do you know what I mean? Where? Well, the, apparently they've spent like trillions on NASA and that. And what have they got to show for it? One, one, moon, one moon landing fucking 50 uh, years ago. And the other Apollo missions, they were bloody No, good. like... But they've, and Apollo 13 was a great film. I mean, Tom Hanks is a great actor. Mm. Are you and fan of Tom Hanks? Gravity, not really. I don't really no. like Tom Hanks at all. <laughs> Why not? Do you know his son's a rapper? Have you heard about this? His son's like a gangster T-Pain. rapper. Apart, his son's like a wannabe... Westwood? Ga- no, <laughs> Tim Westwood. Tim Westwood's older than Tom Hanks. Tim Westwood is old. Tim Westwood's older than dirt. I once had a friend who his dad loved Tim Westwood, yeah. and I got in the back of his dad's car and he was listening. You know, remember Westwood used to have that Friday night show? Quite, I think it was probably like maybe eight or nine at night, and he used yeah. to be like, yo, baby, this he's still Friday. Like now? We, he does like Capital Extra or something. Yeah, some, some shit. Some, it's amazing that he's still going. Some shit global radio stuff. Um... Yo baby, capital X. Yo baby, yo, yo baby, baby, one yo. extra, yo. And I was a bit like, Tim Westwood, it's a bit shit, isn't he? And his dad stopped the car, shit, uh, turned around to me and went, yeah, but he knows his stuff. And my friend was like, don't talk about this. He loves Tim Westwood. Do you know that he, his dad was uh, a vicar or something? Or yeah. A priest. Well, Do I mean. You, my first day in, in London, proper day in London, when I saw started, Tim Westwood. I started working here properly. I went to a burger place. Yeah. And uh, I'm just sort of getting served by this girl and, um, Happens to be a, a black girl, very right. pretty black girl. And I was, right. well, I was a good looking girl. I was. First uh, black girl you ever seen? Or? No, no, All not right, in okay. my life. Well, they, they have them in Newcastle, okay. thank God. Not enough of them. Do you know, anyway, uh, not complaining. People not can enough go of where, them. People, people can go where they want. <laughs> that sounds so bad. Oh. It sounds so bad because it is bad. All right, man. Right. I'm just saying I appreciate, you know. 
pretty black girls. You appreciate all people. Is pretty black saying. girls. I like pretty black girls. It's fine. You're allowed to say that, aren't you? Am I allowed to say that? Yeah. All right, God. Anyway. Do you like pretty white girls as well? I mean, yeah. But anyway, the point is... Credit to you. As it happened, I got chatting to her, and I was what like... What a oh. surprise. And, uh, a man from the north talking to someone in London who feels very awkward about the whole scenario. Hey, she didn't oh. feel awkward at all. She was bloody Brilliant. loving the accent. Friendly. That's all it was, all right? She thought Tim Westwood's gone a bit weird, hasn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, though, it turned out she'd fucked Tim Westwood. Yeah, I mean, that's not a small number of people. But she was... I was like, how old are you? She was like... 18 or whatever nine. <clears throat> 9 working a 9 hour day job she was 18 in London and, uh, and I was like how though like what, what? And, I, and I can tell she was so True. embarrassed by it like well, yeah so embarrassed that she told a complete stranger nah, in her day to day life I, I, I'd, I'd sort of been talking to her for a little while on that and we, we'd gotten quite friendly really um, okay. you know just nice she gave you the fryers and she went by the way I fucked Tim Westwood <laughs> what Th- thanks okay <laughs> Do you want to catch up with that? Absolutely. Yeah, and I, and I was like hitting the sound effects. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> Rewind. Yeah. Well, I remember thinking like, he must be like 50 and like Minimum. these fucking 18 year old girls, like fair play to him. 50 Cent used to love him. Yeah. 50 Cent. I think, I think yeah, rappers just like any DJ who plays that music. Tim Westwood's a weird guy though. Yeah. He's, a, I mean, he seems, he seems nice and very friendly. Uh, he wants to be something he's not. I Tim think that's Westwood, quite clear. The problem with, for Tim Westwood is he looks <clears throat> fine, but he looms. So all the time, West, what, Tim he's Westwood, always he's always over you. Mm-hmm. So it's always like, yo, now when you bought your car in here, it was whack. And I don't mean in a good way, but we've pimped it out. And you're like, cool. And he's yeah. like, look at those wheels. He did pimp my uh, ride, didn't he? Mm. Uh, Would you ever do pimp my ride? Nope. Why? I l- when I was a kid, I really wanted to do Pimp My Ride. I must admit, when Exhibit was the host, every- I think everyone watched it. Exhibit then. was funny, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah but the Pimp My Ride UK was uh, Westwood and was terrible. Pimp My Ride was US was uh, was Exhibit. Yeah, terrible. A few people have been asking us to have that YouTube uh, guy who's uh, the one who did um, KSI's car up and all of that. He sort oh, of, he, Yanomize. Yeah, he does YouTube cars. Up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't know what we were talking about. How many cars have you done, Yanni? You've been working much? Many cars. Change many. What's your favourite car? I've got to say, probably the Lamborghini, baby. Everyone asks that. Yeah. Uh, he seems like a nice guy. One thing about the moon landing Con's is. Con's shaking his head right one, now, so. One, <laughs> one thing about the moon landings is. Um, what about the moon landings from you, Westwood? <laughs> how would you hide it in a company of hundreds of thousands of employees? And go. By the way, we did go to the moon. Don't tell anyone we didn't. Well, and and just to try and imagine, because obviously this isn't a theory. I'm I'm literally thinking of this on the spot. It's not a theory. But um, they're on very old-fashioned computers, right? Yeah. I think we can all agree on it's that. Not MacBook Pro. Is it? As long as the numbers are coming through, that should be coming through. As if they're on the moon, and the people who are analysing the data are just getting the data that they should be getting if that was on the moon, they're going to be none the wiser. And as long as what's on the screen looks like it's on the moon, right. and as long as you're broadcasting it and everything looks right, at that point in time, we'd never even had... Die Hard 1 hadn't even been made at this point. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? People Great weren't movie. used to action and, 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 and films just, that could replicate that sort of stuff. Just, just you know a little I mean? question. Who's then putting the data into the computers that then come back out of the computers? I'm, I'm pretty sure there'd be someone capable of doing that, right. considering someone made a computer like that that was able to read data. So what you'd need to do is you need to find someone who's as clever as the scientists who yeah. think, who you're trying to trick into thinking that they've sent a rocket to the moon, yeah. which has then landed and needs to take off and come back to Earth. You're going to trick those clever people into thinking that all of this no- ha- is happening yeah. because you need people who are just as clever behind the scenes to make computers that will trick them into thinking mm. that those numbers are coming through. I mean, this is just a theory I've come up with. It the is top definitely of a theory. <laughs> but in gen- generally... These, these numbers coming through, they're just like a load of ones and zeros. Well, I thought that's what would have come through. But I, I think that the way people debunk theories, and, and literally I'm li- sitting here pissing around with you and the fucking podcast, but the point is... The, the way to debunk theories is yeah. to be debunk to ridicule the questions that have been asked and a lot of people do that rather than actually trying to answer the initial questions well, can I- and the initial questions are right this footage doesn't look right for a start the fact that nobody's ever and, and all the questions I've raised so far and, they, and they, I 
haven't even got the footage in front of us. I could probably ask about 10 more. So rather than ridicule the questions I'm asking, how about, let's just say, it, it does this footage look right? Yeah. And, and for me, when you look at the moon landing footage, there's just a lot of things that don't add up. I, there's a huge problem with that, of course. Is some of the questions are, of course, stupid questions, and then it's hard not to ridicule them. And people, go, people who ask questions, and when you make fun of them, or you go, that's a bit of a silly question, isn't it? They go, well, don't ridicule. I'm only asking a question. You're like, sort of no, I don't, think, I don't think any of the questions I've raised are silly, though. So, what, but I'm only saying, you're saying that then they would have made a machine that tricked the scientists into thinking oh, they were I, reading. I'm fucking, I literally, I'm making that up off the fucking top of my head. I'm sure there's somebody who's done a lot more research into this than me who has a better theory than I do. What do you think the government get from pretending to land on the moon? A lot of fucking money. The trillions that have gone into NASA for a start. When you think of how much poverty there is in America and you think of what they could have done with the... Tr we're not even... We're literally talking about trillions. Trillions. Like... There's a lot of reason to for, to justify why we need all this money, and that would have been the main reason. And then you got Nixon at the top of it. Well, you've political got a, as well, you know. You've got actor. Then, then you're, uh, you know, better than Russia. We got there first, and Surely all the rest Russia, of it. though can just pretend. Russia. Why didn't Russia think of that? For some reason, the space race was quite a big deal. You, I mean, you did your revision on this back in the day, didn't you? The space, I love the space the race. The space race was a big deal, wasn't it? It was all about that competition and that. I think... It seems a bit silly to me. I'd be like, all right, just get on with it. Surely it's easier to have a space race than an arms race. Mm. Then you don't have to shoot at each other and yeah. you can still keep both of your economies going. Hopefully. Maybe it was a big, big economic trick Maybe. to keep both economies mm -hmm. going. And America wanted... Soviet rule yeah. because it gave them something to fight against see I'm not even saying that we didn't go to the moon I'm just saying the footage is shit right do you know what I mean we may have landed on the moon some people say that about the ultimate football there's, holiday, a, there's a few actually one of Alex Jones's theories oh yeah is that um, no, what are you on. saying there what I'm just saying go on Alex, Alex Jones the known fraud one of Alex Jones's theories is that he, he says that we did land on the moon uh -huh. but that they couldn't broadcast from the moon so they shot footage that was pre-recorded to be played around the same time so we did land on the moon don't know why didn't they then take a camera to the moon and then when they came back selfies go, in, well no they don't even have to do a selfie it doesn't have to be a selfie at the time you can just film the other guy yeah film so the other guy so why do <laughs> that's a bit of a shit conspiracy theory isn't it Alex I mean to me if it's probably one or the other, isn't it? We either did or we didn't, and the footage is either yeah. real or it isn't. Well, yeah, but <clears> sh <throat> surely the way to debunk Alex's theory there is you go, Alex, why didn't they just shoot it while they're on the moon and go, you'll only have to wait a couple of days because we're going to bring the footage back, and when we land, we'll show you the footage. Ev Not everyone on the planet was going, no, we want to see it live when we land on the moon. I think there's something about Americans, though, at that time they just, they just with the razzmatazz that it, it had to be a broadcasted live... Um, I don't know why. I mean, I'm in agreement with you, but I don't think the American public were demanding it though. Do you, they weren't sort of going, "Oh, it's like X Factor." But it, remember, it's it's the biggest accomplishment in the minds of the people at the time in human history. And I doubt there were many Middle Americans going, "This should be broadcast on live TV." Actually, I think it was a massive deal, and if you look at the viewing figures, I bet you they'd back that up. Yeah, no, but only after they were told this will be on TV. There were very few Middle Americans who work in fucking Kansas, who were working in the fields, going, tell you what, if I don't see this bloody moon landing, my day's over. I've got no idea. Yeah, I mean, I really don't know what the farmers were thinking. Do you know what I mean? That's a good point. We'll have to get one on the podcast at some point. You know what? I wouldn't mind going to Middle America. I'd love to go to like that southern part of America and meet the people. I Why? Want I don't they, think you'd get on very well with them. I think I would. I think most of the I think time... they'd like me more than you. It's funny you say that. Um, I don't <laughs> know if that's always the case. I think, actually, when you meet people, people just tend to get on anyway. Yeah. When you go to a place, people are lovely. I would have liked to have had the university... Um, when, I, when I watch those like high school movies and that, when people go to uni and that, I always think, I probably would have enjoyed that. You'd have enjoyed... Not in this country, but going to an American uni and living that proper life. Hold your books. Mm. Would you have had the funny cut-off sweaters nah. and the the pocket protectors? No. I would like to have been like college footballer. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? That's college. N NFL. Yeah, that's college. Yeah. College ball player. Yeah. What, you would have done basketball? No, no. NFL. NFL. That's not... Uh, Apparently I'm yet. tailor made for that. Although probably a bit slow at this point in my life, but you know. Yeah, but back then you would have been... I would have been a fucking animal. Raw power. Mm-hmm. 
There was a guy in London I met a year ago. Uh, he went to NFL, went through the whole drafting process, then came back, got shot in London, couldn't do it. Fucking hell. Mm. But still alive, lucky to be alive. Shocked. Yeah, shot nine times, I think he was. I don't know if it was nine times or if I'm actually conflating that with 50 Cent. <laughs> I know he was shot. The problem was you actually watched Get Rich or Die Try in yeah. the very same day and, and now you can't remember. Him. Which is which? I'd like to get 50 Cent on the podcast. I like 50 Cent. He seems like a nice guy. It's mad how we just... What? But 50 Cent, Tim Westwood, the link. Because I dress good. I think the best, um, the best thing about the, the moon landing was it gave people a story to tell for a while. Yeah. And it was sort of a story. I was thinking about stories the other day. We were supposed to... I want to talk about this last Friday, but we were, the last day we record, I want... To, to talk about like stories do you remember any stories as a kid what's your favourite story that you knew as a kid like what kind of Jack and Jill uh, you know uh, did you know like for instance I was just I, so my dad was in town and I was looking up with him true meanings to stories Jack yeah. and Jill a man and a prostitute really yeah uh, uh, Humpty Dumpty was Humpty a d- Dumpty was a cannon uh-huh. that fell off the wall uh-huh. and then they couldn't and it sort of makes sense when it's a cannon you think why change Humpty Dumpty to an egg yeah like it's actually good as a cannon. Yeah. Don't make it an egg. All the king's horses and all the king's men. Why would all the king's horses and all the king's men want to put an egg together? Uh, no. A I, cannon I, I, to makes honest, sense. I wasn't much of a reader at school. No, but you can be a listener. I tried listening to an audio book made by a YouTuber lately, and it didn't end very well. Who's the YouTuber? Just name them. Who was it? Wasn't very good. Was it Zoella? No, it was. Oh. Was it? You said it was a woman. I'd, I'd rather not go into it. The other day you said it was a woman. <laughs> Let's just move on, right? The point was... Was it awkward reading? I, I, uh, so like, and then we went to the you shops know, you and know then we when, went um, home. You know when you listen to someone read? Mm. Like, for me, I want an audio book... It's got a scan, ...to it? almost feel like you're talking to me, as in you're telling me the story as if it's off the top of your head and, and reciting it from memory. Whereas this was like... And then I almost had a very bit like you know like you can hear yeah. them reading the words and yeah. it's like today junior you know yeah Annoying. surely what you do is make them retake it at that point clearly not because it's out now for ten pounds ten pounds you spent on an audio book. yeah I'm, I'm, I really because I'm considering one day doing one and I thought I want to see what these are like you know if you go to I'd be much better at Audible, then, uh, you can always get a free audio book from Audible. I got, uh, I signed up with two separate email accounts. I don't think that's illegal. And got both of Barack Obama's books. Fantastic. Oh, God. He's tired, but just get over the line. I can't, man. I'm struggling like fuck, yeah. You're almost falling asleep, aren't you? I don't know what's wrong with us. Why don't you take a little nap? Can we have a break? Have a little break. Have a break. Brian, please don't, don't swear. Don't you know the oh. I'm gonna get more content for the Bears, Gay Bears Instagram. <laughs> so I'm in the hot seat mm-hmm. with Lawrence McKenna. Welcome back to Concast. On today's show, we're talking Constantine. Con. This camera or that one? But they're not recording, are they? They're recording. Are they? Yeah. Okay. Uh, today we're talking Concast. Con. Uh, it's the biggest event of the year for all uh, Con fans out there. Uh, some people wanted to call it Kome. Oh, oh. No. the vlog cameras did. Some people wanted to call it Kome Con. Kome Con. That could work. Because you are I also, mean, uh, you're a socialist. I don't know what that word means. Uh, you're a, a Soviet, ex-Soviet. <laughs> <laughs> um, Give me the, I just want no, to have a little no, go with these. I was born after the Soviet Union was... Dissolved. Dissolved. Yes, right. M- possibly the month after. Yeah. Wow. So your Probably. mum was sort of keeping her legs closed just to... <laughs> What's your favourite Russian story? Do you know any Russian stories? I don't know any Russian stories. You must know some... Not... You will have been told. Don't you know what? bullshit me. I have... There's some really great Rus- old Russian films I'd love for you to watch. Great. What about the Russian stories? What about Russian, Russian women? Yeah, it's always Russian women, Tim. <laughs> well, you're sitting over there. I mean, it looks like he's you living don't in need New York me. in his fucking Timberlands. <laughs> you don't need me to tell you they're great. I'm going to find out this summer, hopefully. He's not going to fuck one Russian woman. He's going to fuck the whole He's stadium fuck all of them. them. Um, go on. Russian. You must know a Russian nursery rhyme. Do you want me to tell you in Russian? Can you tell me a Russian nursery rhyme? I actually don't know any. Oh, fuck off. What if I translate one? Sure. Oh. Russian nursery. Antoshka. Antoshka. 
What does that mean? Ah, oh, dude, I'm going to find you the song. Andoshka. Ah, oh, wait, no, wait. Is it this? Wait, wait, wait. You're meant to be resting. <laughs> Rest up, bitch. <laughs> now you want to get involved in the podcast. I'm right, I just want to do it live, though. Yeah, okay, sing along. Okay, sing along. <clears throat> it's about a kid. Who doesn't want to do any work? Oh, fine. Oh, they, <laughs> they made a they made a nursery rhyme about con. <laughs> Are we running the audio? And his name is Antoshka. Antoshka. Like Anthony. Anto- okay. Antoshka. Antoshka. Yep. Давай капать картошку. Let's go dig potatoes. <laughs> so they're like, come on, come on, let's go to work. He pops out of a melon. And he's like, dilly dilly, la di da di. Slick Rick. Um, we wasn't taught this. Nobody taught me this. So, like, I'm not going to bother doing it. Right. That speaks for itself. Yeah. Up his ass, ass, ass. No. Oh. Antoshka, Anthony, Anthony. So basically, they're saying, "Come on, come work with us." Come on, Anthony, come Dig work. Dig some potatoes. Yeah. And he's like, uh, "Nobody ever taught me that. Yeah. Like, we don't learn that in school." I've so got the iPhone X. Why do I need to? Exactly. Yeah. And then by the end of the song, what happens is they cook the potatoes, right? And the potatoes and Antosh- are ready, and, Antosh- and they're about to eat it. And then Antoshka's like, oh, I'm ready now. And yeah. they're like, oh, sorry. And they're like, tough yeah. shit, buddy. Yeah, yeah. You should have helped us from the beginning. Yeah, Antoshka, no. Yeah. Go away. So there's a big message in that. Yeah, it's yeah? if you don't put the work in in the beginning, you don't deserve the boiled potatoes in the end, Antoshka. So we're going to do emails just because sometimes uh just have one of those bad weeks, don't we? Well, you have a bad week. I'm and then, a bad and week. then I have to have a bad week with you. I'm having a bad week. Personal week. life bollocks and um, behind the scenes, a lot going on, and I'm just fucking wrecked, yeah. to be honest. But what I do like is hearing about how shit other people's lives are because then it makes me feel a bit better. So, on with it. No, that, I actually like helping people, don't I? I get a bit of a yeah. buzz. You get a bit, get of, a bit of a buzz off of that. An ego boost. Apologies if, if what you've seen so far hasn't been as. And my normal enthusiasm, but. Um, just people piss us off at this point in my life. Do you know what okay. I mean? And I'm losing the enthusiasm to, to tolerate ah. to tolerate people's bullshit in my life. Good day, chaps. I think I might need to make a change. Who who to kill first? Then? Mm. Mm. Uh, good day, chaps. I've got an issue at hand. Girls thinks uh, girls think I'm a decidedly a, a yeah decently attractive person with a decent personality. He's like on the word decent. Yeah, and decent that, mate. And that's got me in a bit of a conundrum. There's a girl in a country where I used to live that I only met recently, but is very attractive and is down to shag. Wow. I'm still a virgin, so this will be part, a pretty big thing for me. However, where I live currently, there is a cute-ish girl with a great personality that I could potentially start a relationship with. She has feelings for me too, but we aren't dating or anything. Additionally, I visit where I used to live regularly, so I'm not sure how I should proceed. Um, can you clear this up because I'm confused he's got two girls in two different locations where he is regularly he's saying how should he proceed if he and I know this is genuinely a real, a real email from a guy who's saying he has two girls that are attracted to him in two different locations what should he do this why came, the fuck is your email in this email? came just 30 minutes ago well this is the thing I've just put this out this so. one's hot off the press yeah um, this is a fresh problem Brian uh, yeah. you shut it out um, can I just say it to uh, Gally as we're going to call him Fuck them both. Right. Uh, short, sharp replies today. I mean, let's be honest. What if, what if you want to... You're a young to... lad. You haven't, you haven't done anything yet. It's time to start getting uh, underway. What if he wants to remain faithful? He hasn't got a girlfriend. If one of them becomes your girlfriend, then by all means, you know what I mean? Be a one-woman man. But until that point comes, enjoy. It's my... Recommendation. Okay, I'd say... I took my jacket off, by the way. I don't know if we've edited that out. But. I'm a 16-year-old boy. Uh, call me whatever. I don't mind. Okay, whatever. Uh, that has just recently come out of a two-year relationship. He's 16, and he had a two-year relationship. <laughs> the reason we split up I'm laughing because, because... No, you haven't. ...of how controlling she was and didn't let me have any friends. Wow. Since I broke up with her... What a bitch. 
things have become a lot better for me. My social life has changed Ooh. dramatically. We go to the same school and share a locker. Mm. Okay. We spoke to each other uh, since the breakup and tried to tell each other how we feel about it. Bad idea. That's when things got out of control. <laughs> she was stalking my Instagram, seeing how, who I followed since I broke up with her. Was sending me messages on Snapchat, saying how she doesn't want me to be happy. And one day at school, God she almighty. put a doll in my locker with a bracelet. And I got a bracelet I got her wrapped around its neck and hung it from the top of the locker as if it had hung itself. <laughs> What a lovely... It, uh, the weird thing is, he said, as if, it, as if it had hug itself. And I thought, hey, you've almost ironically... Uh, what do you think I should do? Should I confront her and try um, to talk no, it out or the, leave so it alone? The, the, he has a little bit of a This tip. guy's a sensitive guy. No, he has a tip for this guy. Right. In life, there are some women out there, and, and the lads will know what I'm on about when I say this, who there's some women out there whose mission it is in life to make every man that they meet extremely unhappy. And you've just happened to meet one very, very early. Do you right. know what I mean? As men, we've all had them. Some women, it's their purpose. And, 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 and what they start to do is they make out when you're arguing with them that, you know, it's a, it's a debatable problem. You know, is it you? Is it me? No, it, it, with women like this, it's always her. And with any man that she meets, she will make him miserable. So just get the fuck away as quick as you can. Don't speak to her. Don't talk to her. Don't message her. He shares a locker with her. I don't care. Get a new locker. Keep the fuck away from my mate. Because women like that bring nothing but unhappiness to every man in their wake. And equally, there are some men out there that do the same to women. Oh, yeah, there's some psychopaths men. as yeah. well. Do you know Basically, what you're saying is there are psychos out there who haven't yet found out how to have a healthy relationship. And, and, and never will. And no, don't be the a lot of it's up down to upbringing. The, the advice I would give is don't be the person who thinks that you can make them. You think, can't change yeah. her. You can't fix her. You can't heal her. Stop wasting your time. Don't waste years of your life trying don't to. Don't waste your time. I mean, you're already a voice inside my head. Yeah. I miss you. That's Blink 182 there. Don't, um, don't waste your life trying to heal someone. If someone's a fuck up, I miss they're you. always going to be a fuck up. I miss you. Uh, this one comes from Fen Church. <laughs> no, we're going to call him Donald. Donald Church. Sorry to give you another relationship problem, but I guess that's just tough shit, isn't it? <laughs> well, yes. <laughs> we don't. By the way, Donald, we don't have to answer your emails. Basically, I've been in an online relationship with a girl for two years. Oh God! I did backwards image searches when we first started talking to see if she was real. And they came back with no results. So I thought all was okay. Well, it was all good until a week ago. All was good until a week ago. I discovered the person who she had been using the pictures for on Instagram. Oh, cutfish. So the face of the person that I fell in love with has been a lie for the last two years. <laughs> However, you never fell in love with anyone, you yeah, daft cunt. How, you fell in love with the concept of the yeah. person. However, the girl, I lo uh, the girl I've been talking to's real face is actually still pretty good. But I'm hurt by this whole experience, as I was led for I was led for so long. Uh, so what is like is he, the girl he thought he was talking to was like an eight or a nine, and then the girl that he's actually been talking to was more like a six or a seven. Would, yeah, he said like to your girl's thoughts as I'm something uh, pretty different than the usual. Hi, I'm thirteen, and I like this girl in my class. Bullshit. Honestly. You're in exactly the same boat as those other yes. guys. Yes. <laughs> you are no better than all of the lads. If anything, you've had a two-year relationship with a girl and not Skyped her, you are pathetic. That is, what? No, that is day no, one. No, no, no. That is day one. You should always Skype someone early on. Early on? You, yeah. The first two weeks, if you think that this is a real person and that you've got a crush, FaceTime, Skype, whatever, just, do, just get them on a camera and say this is a real person. But anyway... Turns out the girl you've been wanking to isn't actually who you thought it was, but the one that she is. Pretty, I, in, in a way, I'm sort of jealous because there's many times I've been in relationships and thought I could do with a bit of a change here, but not a full change, just a body and face change. Wow. You've got that. Suddenly, so congratulations. Suddenly, you're living the dream, you ungrateful prick. Your advice? Enjoy, enjoy the change. She did still. Variety's the spice of life. She did still lie. 
Oh, she's a lying lunatic. But he's the type <laughs> of guy. Stick around with the lying lunatic. But, but he's the type hashtag, of guy. Hashtag lying lunatic. But he's the type of guy to go two years without even FaceTime and then just take our word Good for point. everything. He's, he's I'm not as being crazy funny. as she is. You deserved it. You're as crazy as she is. You deserve to you be You fucked yourself, really, there. You, yeah. you played yourself. Yeah, yeah. yeah Congratulations. Yeah. You played yourself. Well done. Well done, Donald. You fucked yourself and the country. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> I'm a 16 year old in my first year at college. Call me whatever. Uh, I'm going to call you Curtis. Me and this girl have been flirting at parties and generally both showing interest. I'm 100% up for being sexual. <laughs> <laughs> this is... <laughs> Me too, Curtis. Me too, pal. I'm 100%. When I go on a night out, I literally... I'm, I'm in the mirror. I'm like, yep. just put me shirt... Splash a bit of... And then I'm 100% yep. up for being sexual. And I'm now... you In the mirror, you're going... Sexually to, ready. You're going to yourself, 98, 99, 100. 100. Ready. Let's go, guys. 100%. Just need to let you guys know I'm feeling 100% sexual tonight. <laughs> oh. oh, God. Oh, what, what, what is he on a 95? That's what I'm wondering. Or a 90, do you know what I mean? Is yeah. he still good to go? I I'm, I'm, just want to let you know I'm... 90% wanting this to become he sexual literally, right I'm now. just reading the email and that's exactly how he's written it as well. However, 100% of being sexual. sexual and becoming a thing. Oh. <laughs> this guy, I think this guy's currently sort of like an uh, I a wish sentient we'd being. The email. Well, do you know we body. do a full email podcast for Yeah, it. because it's funny, isn't it? Mm. Uh, however, this girl is very quiet and shy and when just around me or when not hammered, uh, but still shows interest in me when not hammered. <laughs> I mean, uh, shy girls can sometimes be the best fucks, you know. Why would that be? They're a little bit more unsure of themselves, and I they're see. not as confident. But in in that in that insecurity is someone who sort of wants you to tell them everything to do. So when you get them into bed, they'll just do everything you ask. Let's just be honest, though. This guy's sixteen. He's probably not particularly sexually. Um, Obviously not he's by the sounds of it. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, I mean, don't discount her just because she hasn't got a lot of confidence. Who hasn't she, been in a situation where they've gotten down there, just thought, I'm 100 percent into just being. I just want to be sexual. I just want to be a sexual guy. Yeah, and the girl turns and she says, "Sorry, but as a percentage," and he goes, "Well, 100 percent." Uh, well, yeah, yeah, 100%. and she goes, "Well, I, I was close to. A, I'm now 100 percent too." Oh, yeah. So uh, she's ready. Yeah. Uh, it sounds like she's a she's a keeper. Go for it. Go for it. And also, the better you know someone, um, the better relationship you can have. If she's shy, just go for it. I'm worried. What worries me though is some shy girls who say nothing. Do you know like girls who are a little bit of like a mute? Yeah. Do you know what I mean by that? Like they sometimes, stay quiet. sometimes when you first meet a girl. You think to yourself, she's shy, but maybe there's a lot more going on ben beneath the surface. Right. Sometimes you'll spend a lot of time with that. And you'll realise it's just a, it's a puddle. It's shallow. Just a there's puddle. There's nothing there. And yeah. she's quiet because she's literally got nothing to say. You speak from experience? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. 100. Yeah. Uh, 100%. Yeah. And, um, but not sexually. 100% sexual. Right. This is the title of the podcast. That, uh, to be honest, I think we just found our next t-shirt. 100% sexual. <laughs> Although, I think it would be weird if we were mailing... Oh, God, 100% sexual. <laughs> Literally every podcast we're coming up with fucking t-shirts. I don't know why, but that is, that is a belter, that is It's a good it? one. I'm 100% up for being sexual. Yeah. <laughs> That's what's funny Literally, about it. Literally, on a night out, wearing 100% up for being sexual on a t-shirt. There is going to be one lass out there who thinks that's a hilarious t-shirt. <laughs> and when she comes up to you and she goes, you all right there, lad? Like, yeah. you know, straight she's, away. She's Jamaican. Straight in. Yeah. Um, I'm worried that if I were to try something, uh, try anything, she would push me away mm. due to her shyness. No, no, no. The thing no. is... If she's into you sober and drunk, yeah. she's definitely into you. Good. <clears throat> Relationship. Try something respectful yet sexual. Here's a good one. Short, sharp, to the point. What's the guy's name? He, we'll call him... Um, Straight no chase. Alistair. Alistair. Good. Uh, where'd you get Alistair? That's good. Similar to his name, isn't it? Uh, not, no. Or maybe it is. Uh, pretty much been in a two year relationship and I've been broken up and I just broke up with her. Three days after breaking up, she fucked one of my mates Ooh. who is a downgrade. So I fucked his ex. Ooh. The question I'm asking is do I beat seven shades of shit out of him? No, because you fucked his ex. I know, but he did that as an after as an aftermath of what actually went down. In my right opinion, album. if he gets a bit cocky about it and he starts trying to wind you up about it, then he was obviously not a very good mate, in which case give him a slap. Mm. However, he's not a mate. 
What fuck, is he? He's not a mate, he's a dick. Fuck him off. Don't I'm not being funny, but three days after you've come out of a relationship, your mate's snaked in there like a fucking like a rat up a drain pipe. Jeez. That is not a mate. So as far as I'm concerned, mate, you haven't got a mate. We've got a book we've just been written. I mean how how this, much is this one's from Robbie? Uh, it says, <laughs> I don't know. No, I'm not joking. It says, Call me Robbie. All right, that's, yeah, that's I didn't think of that as like a malicious no, no, thing. No, no, yeah. I can see that he's genuinely being yeah. honest. Hi, my name is, <clears throat> but call me Robbie. Basically, I was with this girl, call her Sarah. It probably is a real name. God, is this going to be one of because the, there's so much writing for, here? I've, I've, I've sort of skimmed it right. for about a year and three months. Uh, when we got together, it was all the mint. All right, all is right. that a phrase? Must all the good. mint. All the mint. Aye. This is. I just want to say this is all the mint. All right, whatever. Hashtag honeymoon period. All the mint. Honeymoon period. Uh, as everyone said, the honeymoon period is the best, and that Ooh. seemed to last for longer than I expected. But then, about six or seven months down the line, she cheated on me, necked on with her guy, best mate, while she was in uh, out in her town. Best friend, boys. Uh, oh, he's just a friend. The, he's the one who he's told not to worry about. Right. Classic. Is it? Classic. Yeah. Classic. Do you think it's good to only have one person you're close with? In my experience, whenever a girl has had a, a boy best friend who was straight, the minute there was a hint of an opportunity, that boy best friend will move in. Do you know what I mean? Right. Into the house. Move in for the kill. Wow. Yeah. Do, do you not? Do you think that's a trust thing? Like, what if you're? He's f- an opportunist, isn't he? He's looking for the. Can I just read the rest of this? Because I don't usually get to read the others. Do you want Obvi- to read it? I was obviously distraught. Didn't speak to her for a couple of days. Then we got back together. Then she broke up with me because I argued too much. Then not even a day later, she went out, got pissed, and necked on with another lad. To right. to your to her audacity, I got back with her again. Uh, Literally, that's not quite, genuinely. That's not her audacity. That's your stupidity. Yeah, basically, mate. Um, and after a while, started slightly forget it happened. Oh God, oh, make enough I'm, for doing this awful shit. Got I think back I'm to her. slightly forgetting. Oh my that God, happened. he's actually used the word suicidal. I started to feel suicidal. I'm shut up, mate. Will you? So I thought the best option was to get out of there because sometimes you need to. Da, da, da. Not just that, Sarah. She never used to you trust times. me at all. God Almighty, mate! Literally, what the fucking like? Like to be fair, he's pouring his heart out here. I'm not. No, but he felt he, sad. No, but do you know what it is? What is it, Robbie? Right. Sometimes in life, you just need to hold the you mic don't, and we, shut we, up. We, we we all become a little bit pathetic. Right. Right. I've been there. I've had a girlfriend before who was taking the piss. All right. And I didn't want to admit it to myself. No. You never do. But just taking the piss taking and the you're piss. becoming pathetic. Right. All right? Just She's get rid of demeaning you. Just get rid of her. It can be quite humiliating. Just get rid of her, keep, Robbie. It can be quite humiliating. Good to night, be sweetheart. On. Right. It can be quite a humiliating process to be cheated on, couldn't it? If someone cheats on you, it could be sort of um, very painful. Where And then if you get back with them, there's obviously a power dynamic there where you know they could leave at any point. Do you know what I mean? Well, it depends on how you think about things, but yeah. Totally. But I mean, I'm, I'm just saying, I can see what he's Some trying to say Some people feel like there. a fool. And they feel like I've been made a fool out of here. Pity the fool. And, but then you think, yourself, I love that person too much to let them go, so I'm going to allow them to keep on doing it. Good point. All right, next This one. one's entitled, Not a Dating Question. Oh, Ideal. My name is. Uh, what was his name? Uh, his name is. Um, TJ. Tyrone. Tyrone. Well, we can guarantee his name begins with T. You like got those new, new, did you? Like yeah. Me new, uh, yeah. Don't see those much anymore. You can still find them. Huh? <laughs> huh? Pretty good with the old. What? Like Sergio Giorgini. The old Sergio Giorgini. Yeah. So. Alright, Tyrone, what's he saying? And you can call me, uh, and you can call me that if you'd like. Oh, we can call him his real name. His name is Trim. Trim. All right. I'm not sure that's his real name, but okay. Uh, I went to Villa Park a couple of years ago to see my favourite team in action. Yep, uh, and that would be Aston Villa being terrible here. I'm from Norway, so I convinced the family to go on a, a Christmas vacation to England so I could see the game with my dad. That's oh, a lovely idea. That's a nice idea. They played Man United, and the game ended one all. Ooh, good, good result for Villa. Uh, and Villa actually played pretty well. It was the best football experience I've ever had. Anyways, a few days later, at the Christmas gathering and my grandfather's house, I found myself. I found my first True Geordie video where you talked about the game. That was late 2014, and I've been a subscriber since. I'm a nostalgic guy, and uh, I like a little 
dig in the past. So I was recently looking for that video. I can't find it. So my questions are, have you deleted that video? If so, why? And are there other videos you've deleted? If so, why? Um, I might have gotten rid of some ones that I thought were just bollocks. Yeah, so like reviews of Aston Villa. Pointless games, yeah. Because yeah. back in the day, I was sort of like finding me, I didn't understand YouTube very well. So I'd just sit there on the couch and talk to me camera a bit, you know what I mean? Um, and I was a bit bored of those videos Did looking back at them I was like oh. I didn't delete that many though I, th I think I'd, uh, I think maybe like 20 or something like that wow but they were all the same you know what I mean QPR versus Liverpool review you reviewed them no I'm not saying I did but like some of them I probably I've like, just watched match of the day and I just want to say QPR is shit <laughs> pretty much uh, I've got a good one multiple breakups this one's called yeah, do you want to make well, this one the last one because you're getting your jacket on no no just no just, just whatever what's up lads don't help fan of the podcast uh, keep killing it. Yeah, I will do. So I was with this girl for a year and a half, 17 years old, uh, heads up. And I'd broken up before and got back together and things have, uh, were good again. We then broke up again because I wasn't making enough effort. She then saw another lad <laughs> and that. slept with because him. Because I wasn't making enough effort. <laughs> so you weren't giving her enough attention. That's Paul. either really passive aggressive mm. or he's really weak. Fucking sick of it, man. And slept with him Honestly, for a few weeks. Honestly, all women want is fucking attention but nonstop. But she said it was a rebound. Brilliant. I, I slept with a guy. Oh yeah, That's, that doesn't sound great. I don't think I want to get with you. Don't worry, it was only a rebound. Oh, fine. <laughs> well, no, oh, no, you've justified oh, no, it. Well, no, you've At least she's given him an explanation. That's a good point. Yeah, it's yeah. fine. Um, this time, when we got back together, she left me after a week because she said she thought she still loved me but then realized <laughs> over a weekend she didn't because I went on... Oh, I went to I went to full on too fast. So he sort of he went, you know, roses. He tried to fuck her. The kind of the kind of thing that guys do when they're fucked up. They go, I'll buy her roses. I'll post on Instagram. I'll you know all these things where they go, oh my god, I've got to keep her. And then they sort of yeah. you know, and then they just basically make themselves look the boring bastard they were beforehand. Yeah. <laughs> um, she already started talking to somebody else. I can't even stop thinking about her, and I feel. Irreverent. <laughs> I feel irreverent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you poor bastard. We're sitting there laughing at you. I feel irreverent. Irreverent. <laughs> this is uh, the new Leonardo DiCaprio film with them. Um, yeah. Oh, just, I'm so. How you feeling, mate? <laughs> Pretty irreverent. <laughs> Oh, let's just this cunt, the man. meaning of the oh, reverend because I'm pretty sure that isn't the correct use of it but this guy showing a, he's showing a lack of respect for someone <laughs> you guys are being irreverent we're being irreverent <laughs> <laughs> we're the irreverent ones and not good enough and insecure about myself well when you use misuse yeah. words and sentences you will where do I go from here probably do a dictionary um, mm. cheers lads also, Lawrence, you've inspired me. <laughs> oh my god. Oh <laughs> <laughs> It's just the use of the word irreverent there is it really took me off but guard. Then the fact that he is now saying thank you for inspiring me to go to university. <laughs> I'm just feeling so irreverent. <laughs> Hashtag Irreverent. <laughs> this is the shittest, best podcast we've ever done. Oh, just feeling mm. so, so irreverent over the whole. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! This is the, honestly. If the, imagine someone's like, this is the first true Jordy podcast. They'll literally be like, I don't see what the hype is. <laughs> I literally, have no idea. What's do going people on. actually watch this shit? People shite. watch this. Yes, yeah. they, yes, they do. Yes. What would you say to an irreverent guy like that? <laughs> I'm sorry we laughed so much at your joke, and I'm glad well, that you, you know felt inspired. Say? If you're going to go to a media Get university, tell me which one. Email me, mail at loscast.com, uh, and let me know. Uh, just um, good luck at university. Good luck. Good luck. I hope you have and a better also, than irreverent time. And also, um, <laughs> thanks for making Lawrence laugh so much. How are you Cheers, feeling? Mate. A little bit irreverent today. Uh, is there any girls? Can we have a look? Any girl? Oh, I wish girls would send Giuseppe, us. Giuseppe, Paul, uh, Pace, nudes. Um Tom, Jared. 
Lamps. His name's Lamps. Carlitos Pint. My girlfriend wants to do anal. Football derbies. Why? Really? Wait, wait, my girlfriend. Oh, put that one on. My girlfriend wants to do anal. What's the name for this guy? We'll call him Lenny. <laughs> Leonard. <laughs> <laughs> that, well now we've masked his name when I had to uh, listen to the last one that really made me laugh the way you said Leonard yeah I don't know why just carry on I'm 18 years old and you can say my real name thank god because we just gave it away anyway Leonard alright his name's uh, Lams Lenny his name's mm. literally Lam La- oh Lance Lance but he's misspelled it <laughs> right, uh. he's misspelled his own name mm-hmm. his name's Lance Lenny but he's misspelled his name Lams alright <laughs> People are more yeah, you're right, in a funny mood today. I just started university and I met my girlfriend at uni. My girlfriend of just two weeks asked me to do anal with her the other day, and I didn't know what to say. Obviously, being at uni has meant we're doing we've done filthy things whilst being hammered, but not anal. I mean, have you she really done anything? To do filthy? Anal. Yeah, she wants to do anal whilst we're not drunk. The only reason I didn't want to do anal is because I'm really scared of getting shit all on my cock. Yeah. Uh, do I tell her I don't want to do it because I don't want shit on my cock and it's grim or do I just suck it up definitely don't do that and do her from behind so I don't look like a pussy alright uh, a few different things here thanks Lamps for, for a start um, you know just man up and fuck her up the arse is the first thing I would say brilliant especially if she, I mean you, do you know how lucky you are to have a girl who wants that you fucking asshole. quite Certainly. literally Secondly, if you genuinely can't handle shit or you're worried about it, which usually, and there are exceptions, but usually you'll be fine. There are other things that you can do. She can douche, shove one of those little water packets up her bum and squirt it out and clean herself out right. before you do it. There's an option. Have you ever made someone do that? No, I haven't, because I couldn't give a fuck about um, a bit of dirt. Right. Um, but, I mean, like I say, usually it's never a problem anyway. But uh, And also, for Christ's sake, Bring the lube um, because lube. Yeah, she right. will. Uh, it'll be a lot. Another thing will be a lot, lot nicer for you, uh, but easier for her as well. What does lube do? Just for people who don't know what lube is. Well, obviously, is. Um, in a pussy, it's going to produce its own lube, but an arse won't do that. Uh, I mean, you can use spit as well, but it's just a lot easier with lube. To be honest with you, have you ever used spit? Yep. Did it work? Yep. Yeah, quite a good lubricant. Yep. Uh, the butthole. What I like about the butthole <laughs> on a woman is it's sort of um, it's tight. Right. Do you know what I mean around that bit on the entrance, so you can sort of use that to wank yourself off. Right. Well, which is actually quite literally what sex is. No, but it's a different type because obviously a tight one. in a clunge, it's sort of like when you're in there, it's like a, quite a smooth feeling, whereas. The butthole just tends to be very, very tight around the entrance. Right. Do you know what I mean? So you're saying do it, enjoy it, and have revel fun in with it. that. Have fun yeah, with that. Revel in it. Do you know what I mean? Enjoy yourself. Revel so, in and that. stop worrying about shit. And it is a bit like that when you're younger, but like the the more you do it, the less you'll care. I think and I mean, you can have a shower afterwards. Do you know what I mean? Uh, maybe the great advice would be mix the two. Yeah, a lot of people do like a bit of uh, the old anal in the shower, really or bath. Uh, is that a big? Is that a big thing you like? No, me personally, I just do shower afterwards. But um, shower straight I mean, after. I, I've done that before. Do you run away going ooh 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 after? Uh, uh. Wagwan, Loz and Brian. My name's Andrew. Yeah, you can use my, my name's Andrew Morrison from his name. He's from Deskford. He's in a pred- predicament. I'm in a yeah. bit of a predicament. Two months ago, I started uni without a girlfriend. Now I'm in a relationship. I don't want to be Fucking in. Stupid. I've punch. got two options: dump her or stay with her out of sympathy. Don't stay with her out of sympathy. Moving Break on. Break up pal. with her, Andrew Jesus. from Deskford. Honestly, put a bullet in. Not literally, but just put a bullet in the relationship. Kill it. Uh, so, so this one's entitled Struggling Bob. to even stop That's doesn't, Don't say his re- Okay you can call me Bob Right uh, Struggling to even progress uh, Of going after crush uh, Love the podcast You can call me Bob Whenever I seem to have Some interest in a girl I always seem to struggle With making a move Or any kind Yeah Or any kind of show That I have uh, or in, basically, he doesn't have to show interest. How does he tell girls that he's interested in starting a date? Well, just start conversations, process. isn't it? And just, But don't be too awkward about it if you're a bit of an awkward fucker. Try and act like, just throw it in there. Do you know what? Smile initially. When you get the go-ahead, if she smiles back, start a conversation. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's... 
I don't Bam. know how lads find this so hard. And you're in. Do you know? Because I'm always being a chatty bastard. Yeah, it's a big problem. Deal closing's not easy. What's a what do you what's a deal? So what I mean is, so there's the stages, isn't there? And I haven't really thought about this, but you know, Think about there's me. there's the entrance point of the conversation. Right. Hi. There's the, there's the hello, hello. You start talking. Then there's the point where you sort of recognise. Will you do that in the bar? Will you go over and sort of go hello? I'd literally walk hello. I'm Brian. Hello, Brian here. Back for yeah. what's going on? Uh, so, if you're in a bar, the easiest thing usually is to try and stand at the bar where people are serving drinks. So then, Just cool. No, but like, because hey. you're not then literally going over to her directly. You you both happen to be doing the same thing at the same time. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't see you there. Can get you get you the drink. Do you want us to? Uh, 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 I'm, I'm about to order. Do you, do you want anything? Yeah. 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 I mean, maybe just do it like that. And then she me? goes, "Oh yeah, that'd be really nice. Uh, I've got a whole table over there. You go. Don't worry about it. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. um, and then I, well, I'll have champagne. Champagne. Yeah. Your friend seems five shouting. bottles. Yeah. Your fa- your friend she- seemed to be shouting over there. Yeah. I I, uh, I think you should go back and tell him to fuck off. Um. <laughs> <laughs> the way you said that was like that had happened. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so this is three stages. There's the it's like grief, entrance, yeah, anger. Oh. So hello, Acceptance. hello. There's the middle, which grief. is grief. You then work out at some point: Do I actually have a fucking chance here? Is she interested? Is she reciprocating? Is her body language telling you? Yeah. It, is she open? Because a lot of girls just like attention and they like buying drinks for us. So they, they, they might be a little bit like, oh, I'll just chat to this fucking loser. You do have to where look the, out. Where the cash point's paying out, you know what I mean? You do have to look out for that. <clears throat> and, and and we've all had it done where lasts are sort of uh, just being friendly and you can't really work out whether this is for real or not. And at some point, you're going to have to go out on a limb to find out whether or not she's really interested. So, you, you sort know. of, you know, you drop a little flirty line in there. You drop some flirty shit in there. Yeah, and she, and if she laughs and goes, oh, well, maybe you should find out, then you're like... Kind of, yeah. And and at that point, it's a case of closing the deal. And that really is the and easiest... And what's that? Bit. Is that sort of like a phone number? Um, I mean, yeah, pretty much. Um, or or if you feel like your your looks really and just go in for the kill that night. Do you know yeah, and I mean? you just sort of say, oh, well, maybe we should... Uh, and I'm going back to my place afterwards because uh, these lot are fucking going to stay out all night. I don't know if you want to. I don't know. Yeah, I really. And then you've got you know you've I mean? got your drink in your hand. You've got her drink in yeah. your hand, and you go, "Shall we?" And then you both go over and just sort of yeah. chat for a little while. Maybe you're in the corner. Just yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you fucking killed me. You know? <laughs> Literally, the only reason I started a podcast with you is because you make me laugh more than any cunt in my life. Everyone I, thinks it was genius how different you are. I'm like, no. not really. He just makes us laugh. No. Simple as that. It's just so irreverent. Because I isn't knew it? I was. <laughs> <laughs> I knew. If I ever did a podcast with, I was going to have to spend a lot of time with. I thought someone's going to make me fucking laugh. A lot of time. <clears throat> I'm literally in such a bad mood today, and I'm still laughing. Me fucking cunt. Off. It's just such an irreverent thing. <laughs> anyway, uh, good. Do we should we do any more? Or is that enough? No, I definitely say that was good. Find the bug. A lot of advice on women relationships. I know this has been a short podcast. We probably edited this it's right. Quite long, I think, hasn't it? Right down. To be honest with you, because half of it was me sitting having a packet of crisps laying down in the back. I had a break in the middle. I don't know if you caught that. The funny thing is, we. Might even put a little bit of that in. Yeah, just Con sat in for us there for a minute. Um, on Con's channel. Con's got then, a channel. Yeah. I'll, I'll leave the link in the description a, below for him. Yes. It's the least I can do. Finally, yeah. Um, it's not like KSI's yeah, not thanks helped. for um, Thanks for cheering us up, lads, because I'm pretty pissed off at the moment. And yeah. uh, and thanks to all you lot for um, all the nice comments you've probably left. Of, I hope you feel better, Jody. Um, if, yeah, if you haven't, then fine. Do you know Still I mean? fine. Far Fine. from an irreverent. We've got a sponsor, a couple of sponsors. Coral, thanks to them. Yeah. Harrys.com slash True Geordie. People are always asking us. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure Connell will edit this as if it was seamless. Yeah. People were always asking us, how, how do you get, get such that? a great shaped yeah. beard? Answer's always the same. Harrys.com slash True Geordie, where you lot can get a razor kit for just three ninety five delivered to your door. We all know how much to charge for all these overpriced razors out there. It's a joke, mate. No need. You get lovely box, shaving foam, all of that. Um, and also, um, you can get that there. Link will be in the description below, if I remember. Hopefully I will. If not, harrys.com slash True Geordie. They really do offer great prices. And um, what else? is there anything I'm just, else I'm I need looking, to say? I'm up the is there anything else I need to say, just generally? Um... Uh, they're so, yeah. truly flexible and transparent. All right, all right. Anyway, um, so yeah, on days where I'm not feeling great, you lot always cheer us up. So thank you for coming, 
to the channel once again and uh, following us on Twitter and all the things you do I re- and all the people who retweet when I try and get guests unsuccessfully thanks for your efforts please um, thanks for your efforts please please keep doing Jerry that Jerry Adams um, should we finish the podcast by doing a high five and Con can freeze frame it and then uh, like sort of so play the gonna... true Geordie music Con ready just look into the middle camera okay look into the middle camera ready look, there's the moving one yeah so let me zoom out so if you, go, if you like stand up no no, no, I'm, no. Not so standing I'm just going to do it like I'm that I'm just going to ready Three, two, one. Freedom! Okay, freedom! That's, that, that wasn't a very good one. Okay, ready? Okay, freedom! Beautiful. Why are we saying freedom? I don't know. I was just Subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later. See ya. Like the video. Yeah, good.